Hello everybody and welcome back to another video here on the channel and today we are taking a look at the Zion Crane V2. And so what this is, is a 3 axis motorized gimbal made for mirrorless and DSLR cameras up to a weight of 1.6 kilograms. In this video I'm going to be talking about how good this thing is at stabilizing your footage and whether it's worth using for professional use. So before I start, if you do enjoy this video please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos here on the channel. Let's get into the review. So firstly about the build quality. This is one thing I really like about this product. It's got a nice low profile black design on it. It comes with an extremely secure carry case which would probably survive multiple bombs but it's nice to have something that makes it a fairly portable product. This is a really small gimbal compared to what you can get. So a Ronin M would be way too big to take with you on holiday but I would happily take this on a plane with me. So basically, if you don't know how this thing works, is it has motors and it has gyroscopes, which keep this thing perfectly level. On the handle, the gimbal has a, a joystick, so when in different modes, you can change the direction that the camera's looking. And there's also an app which comes with this thing, which is really awesome. It's really quick to connect with Bluetooth. You can actually control the head of the gimbal so you can decide where the camera's pointing. The handle's quite nice and grippy, but in the cold, it's metal, so it will feel really cold. Uh, I look forward to that this winter. But overall the build quality it feels premium and like you're paying a lot for the product. Which you are. And so on to the performance and features this thing has. It works extremely, extremely well to stabilise the footage. Obviously it's not, it's not going to be perfect at stabilising the footage, especially when you're not using an image, image stabilised lens. But if you are, and if you get the movement right, you can get outstanding results from this thing. And there are two modes which you can control this thing. There is follow mode, which when you move the gimbal, it will look at where you're looking on only one rotational axis like that. And the other is free mode where wherever you go, the camera will stay pointing in the exact same position. And if you don't want to have to buy a slider, you can just put this thing in free mode and move the gimbal along. And setup was actually surprisingly easy when I first got this thing. And if you're using the same lenses over and over again, then you only have to keep it in one position every single time, which can make it really quick. The batteries actually go inside the handle and they charge They charge with micro USB, which is really useful for on the go charging. And you can get some more batteries if you like and want to use this thing on a long period of time. But the battery life nonetheless is outstanding. Uh, I've used it quite a lot over the past two weeks and I've had to charge it once which was the first time. There are a few problems with this thing and the first thing is the fact that it doesn't perfectly stabilise everything. You can't rely on it to do everything for you so if you run with it and don't try and be stable it won't look perfect. And the, diff and the other option apart from one of these is called a glide cam and these work with gravity instead of motors but are still the same price but the results you can get can be more natural in comparison to these electronic gimbals. You can kind of tell that the movement isn't particularly realistic. And the one other problem I have with this thing is the fact that it wants a lot of the weight to be forward. So if you're using a heavy body and a smaller lens, it will find it fairly difficult to balance itself as its center of gravity is a bit too far back for what the gimbal wants. But the motors will have to work a bit harder and won't be as effective at stabilising the thing, but it will work nonetheless. So in conclusion, who is this thing for and is it worth it? So this thing is for two people, or probably a few more, but two main people and that is filmmakers and people who just like filming as a really expensive hobby. But nonetheless, anyone who wants easy, quick, stable footage, this is definitely the thing you should get if you're not looking to spend a great deal of money and it's a little bit heavy and that's the only thing you should really bear in mind. If you enjoy this video and would like to see more, please hit that like button and subscribe for more videos here on the channel. I'll see you in the next video. Roll the outro.